we look at vertical circular motion and it goes like this. Something spun in a vertical circle. Now the difference here for sure is that the tension is not constant and it's very evident that that's the case. And when I feel that mass coming down to the bottom, I feel quite a pull right there, more so than at the top. You've experienced that too. If you've been on a swing and you're swinging at the bottom, oh, you really feel that force. So at the bottom, the reason that that happens is because this is moving at a faster speed and it wants to move straight that way. And the string is saying, oh no, you don't. <laughs> You're coming with me, pal. And so it, there's this sort of fight all the time as this thing wants to go off and the string is pulling it in. Now what we need to do is examine the uh, equations that describe that, this kind of circular motion. And it's pretty easy. So we'll look at what happens at the top and then what happens at the bottom. So here we go. Vertical circular motion. Once again, at the top, the mass wants to go off at a tangent, but is constrained by the tension in the string. But this time, there's two forces acting inward at the top, the tension and also the weight. Gravity is acting, pulling that mass inward. So the net force is the sum of these two. And we can write F net equals FT plus FG. Now we know that the net inward force that causes something to go into a circle is MV squared over R. So we set MV squared over R equal to FT plus FG. Now I suggest at this moment that you actually hit pause and practice writing out and drawing out this diagram. Let's look what happens at the bottom. At the bottom we have, first of all, the gravity acting downwards. Acting up, we have, again, the force of tension. But notice carefully, the tension is larger than the pull of gravity down. And it has to be. If the pull of gravity down was greater, the string would break. And we need circular motion. That means there must be a net inward force. And of course, that's only going to happen if the force of tension is larger. So we can write now F net equals Ft minus Fg. As before, we know that the net inward force for something in a circle is mv squared over r. And we can write mv squared over r equals Ft minus Fg.